Shazam. Today's video is on Tyler Perry's House of Pain and of course propaganda. Now if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch and we block talk break that shit down. Now let's focus on Tyler Perry's House of Pain and of course propaganda as we break down how tokens are collected and how bootlickers are born god damn it. If y'all unfamiliar with the show House of Pain, the young man is Malik and the older gentleman his name is Floyd. Malik just came into the House of Pain after a very, very important interview. Pay attention. Uh-oh. I guess you didn't get that job, huh? No, actually, I was off the job. Congratulations. Why are you coming in here looking like somebody snatched up Lisa and then returned her after a couple of hours? You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Now, you probably thinking, what's the big dilemma, goddammit? He got offered the job. What is the big dilemma other than that horrible display of acting and terrible joke? Well, I mainly showed this piece to show you Malik's face, that he's disappointed, that he's struggling with something. He's sad about something and that something is troubling him. Now, let's get directly to the issue. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Well... The CEO and my would-be boss is one of those racist types. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure he's against black people and the Black Lives Matter movement. Your favorite channel, favorite channel. I want y'all to understand that Tyler Perry write every last word for his sitcoms, y'all. He write every last motherfucking word. So think about what Malik, a.k.a. Tyler Perry, just now said, y'all. He said the CEO is one of those racist types. How many fucking types are there? Racism is racism, and a racist is a fucking racist. Ain't no such thing as a good type or a bad type what the fuck is Tyler Perry talking about he letting you know that he using soft language because he's scared to come out and tell a goddamn truth he continues to say I'm pretty sure he's against black people I'm pretty sure he's against black people and the black lives matter movement y'all this is not fucking Saturday night football this is not Cleveland versus the fucking Packers today y'all that's not what's going Going on here. This man fucking hates black people in the Black Lives Matter movement. This man despises black people in the Black Lives Matter movement, god damn it. This man loathed black people in the Black Lives Matter movement. But you know what Tyler Perry just did? He let you know that he's soft as fuck, people. He let you know that he's soft as fuck because if you rewrite that script, you should have said the CEO is a goddamn damn racist and i'm pretty sure he hate black people in the black lives matter movement and when we continue you go, you gonna understand why i'm saying what i'm saying but we ain't gonna let them skate that goddamn easy number two all black people do not support the fucking white supremacist states of america and alexander man front group black lives matter I will repeat that. A front group, y'all. I've been broke down how Alexander Mann created Black Lives Matter, y'all. We understand this, right? But let's continue as we break this shit down. Number three, y'all. Black people do not get paid as a whole when Black Lives Matter get millions and millions of dollars and invest in real estate. But let's continue. Did he say that he was against Black Lives Matter? No. Then how did you know he was against Black Lives Matter? He had a sign on his wall with BLM inside of a circle with a red stripe through it. I mean, he even had pictures of him with politicians that are known racist. I mean, the whole thing just made my skin crawl. It, it, nothing about it was genuine. It felt like he was just trying to fill a quota. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Do you understand what just happened here? Floyd immediately, Floyd, a.k.a. Don't Burn CVS, Floyd, a.k.a. Pull Up Your Pants and the Police Won't Stop You, this man quickly made sure that it wasn't a misunderstanding. That's what he doing right now, y'all. Talking about, well, did he say he was against black people in the Black Lives Matter movement? See, he trying to make sure, oh, this ain't some big misunderstanding understanding he said oh then how do you know quickly well how you know he quickly got some energy then how you know if he then that man hurry up and told him bruh 
He had a fucking sign disrespecting Black Lives Matter, and he got fucking pictures with him and David Duke. Him and any other racist politician that you want to fathom inside of your fucking head. He got pictures with him. What else do you need, Floyd? Floyd still ain't seem to uh, respond with no type of outrage. Do y'all notice his his tempo and all of that stayed the same? But it could be due to uh, bad acting, you did. But guess what, y'all? He disrespected Malik directly in his face because that's a test, y'all. Because if you don't react to his fucking racist memorabilia on the wall and every fucking where then he know that you'll shut your ass up and accept racism blatantly just for a fucking check just like 90 percent of these black fucking prominent figures out here do you understand me do you understand me that was a fucking test to see oh if Malik shut his ass up and I basically got a picture back here that say fuck black people fuck black lives matter and I'm with David Duke and them god damn it then he all right here let us fuck clean over him inside of the office y'all inside of the fucking office he'll let us put a noose on his fucking desk probably but let's continue you know, the unemployment office has a quota, too. Look, Malik, racism has existed ever since they brought us over here against our will. But we have to just keep rising above the hate. As we continue to disrupt the equilibrium of the perceived reality, we gonna pay attention to how the elder black man, y'all, reacted to the young black man who was just not faced with a disingenuous white supremacist CEO who made his fucking skin crawl, y'all. We gonna pay attention to how Floyd reacted to a fucking white supremacist who made this young man's skin crawl. What did we hear Floyd just say, y'all? What did we hear Floyd just say in an old head response? In the old head response, talking about it, uh, unemployment got to meet a quota too. Unemployment got a quota too. That's how you respond, bro. That dude looking at you serious than a motherfucker because of what he was just not faced with today. He just now looked white supremacy directly in the eye, goddammit, and you respond with a joke that equates to, look, if you don't take that money, then hey, you ain't gonna have no money. Well, guess what, goddammit? There's always work at the post office. And if he at the unemployment line, he's still gonna receive his unemployment. And if he receive unemployment, that mean had he accumulated all the hours to be paid god damn it they don't just hand out money just because you say i'm unemployed god damn it you have to have a history of employment what is y'all talking about then floyd lame old head ass continues and said oh man racism exists since they bought us here like they just bought us here first of all we was already here and racism existed since they laid eyes on your black ass that don't mean that it's right and that don't mean that you need to sit your ass down and just exist in it and the part i hated most the part y'all know that I hated most. We gotta just rise above. Rise above. You see them fucking stats right there? How the fuck do you rise above that? These people right here ain't rising above. They dominating. But you want us to just, man, just rise above it. Look how that shit worked out for us. We dying in the street and old folks worrying about, don't burn CVS. We don't own CVS. This your community. This ain't my community. Y'all own everything. The person from India own that fucking hotel. White people own that McDonald's and that Walmart. The motherfucking people from Middle Eastern, wherever the fuck they at, got that liquor store right there. The Asians got that motherfucking Chinese spot over there in the hair parts. What part of this motherfucking community belongs to me? Except for the part that you exploit and talk about the hood, the hood almost motherfucking day do you see them goddamn stats we got to rise above no what we got to do is say you know what i'm not taking this motherfucking job and you know what i'm going to do i'm finna go home and blog about this goddamn it you know what 
I just went into the office of a top 500 CEO or whatever fucking CEO he was. You understand me? As I collect myself, oh, I just walked inside of their office and he had a BLM sign with a slash through him. He also had pictures with him, David Duke, Huey P. Long, and everybody else, God damn it. That's what you go do to combat white supremacy. Now, rise above, and we shall overcome, and turn my other cheek, and get knocked in the fucking other cheek. But that's what they want you to do. That's what Tyler Perry wants you to do. They want you to rise above, y'all. Just rise above and all of that bullshit. This is social engineering, goddammit. it. This why they ban people like me. I'm not just some dude talking on YouTube. This why they shadow ban shit. God damn it, yet all of you niggas could be in a hot ass room with a million guns saying kill a nigga, fuck a nigga, but ain't got a shadow ban or a flag or nothing, god damn it. But I'ma probably get flagged for this video, god damn it. But let's continue as we wrap this bullshit up. Oops, my bad. I forgot to pose a question to you. Do you think Malik is going to take the job, people? Do you think after all he's seen, after the BLM being slashed with a big red mark on it, after him seeing the man, the CEO with David Duke, Donald Trump, Huey P. Long, and everybody, after he saw everything, what do you think Malik is going to do next? Will he take the job? No. After some soul searching, I decided to accept the job. See, th this is what's wrong with young people. No, you get an opportunity. He said he took it. <laughs> I accepted the job. I figured out that this is the best way to show the world who I am and be the positive change that I want to see. See, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to get your cousin Calvin to edit a photo and put you right next to Barack Obama and you so after some fucking soul searching, after some soul searching, he decided to take the job, y'all. After some soul searching, you know what the fuck happened? He found nothing. He decided to be a fucking figurehead just like Barack Obama, who Floyd just now referred to. He decided to be Kamala Harris, y'all. He decided to be uh, Simone Sanders, y'all, and let people live vicariously through him as white supremacists control his ass y'all and you know what else just happened here Malik needed a position y'all he felt powerless without this position y'all who gave him this position a white person which means that he need a white person to give him power by default he needed the white person to give him the position he feels that the position is a position of power so the white person is in charge of giving us positions of power well guess what Malik and Tyler Perry no they are not I'm in the position position of power right motherfucking now i'm the ceo i'm the boss because i said so god damn it i don't need your goddamn degree i don't need your television station or nothing and if this goddamn youtube shut down you know black people will find another goddamn way god damn it we will be heard because we are inevitable but y'all this is social engineering right now social engineering they want you to feel like oh man you down and out you better take that job boy that good paying job man i know he racist but all of them zeros you see you see who they sitting up there trying to appeal to mr tyler perry Tyler fucking Perry with them terrible God awful ass shows that he making. Somebody need to slap his ass and tell him stop making movies. Stop making television shows. Just like I told fucking Master P. Stop bruh. Don't nobody want to watch this shit no more. The fucking show itself is horrible y'all. Horrible. This is complete bullshit. You understand me? But this is what's allowed to come on in America y'all. This is what they want. They want you to sell out. They want you to be a token like uh, Barack right there. Or be a bootlicker like Tyler Perry, goddammit. Be a fucking bootlicker like Tyler Perry, a man of many goddamn faces. Ain't that something? A man of many faces. But I sure as hell don't think he got a black face in him.
Once again, y'all holler at me.